Hello guys, welcome to this course on Cloudera Data Platform. My name is Sijesh and this video we will see how to deploy virtual machine in Azure for master. So first up, log into the Azure portal using this URL portal.azure.com and if you have not already registered, so you can sign up with your ID. So the first step, so we have to log into the Azure portal and create one virtual machine. So once prompted, type the credential. Okay, once you, once you type the credential, you will get a page like this. Okay. And uh, uh, this is how our portal looks like. Again, you can choose either AWS, Google Cloud, DigitalOcean or any cloud platform or VMware based virtualization environment. So our requirement is to get few uh, machines, either it can be a virtual machine or a physical machine where we are installing Cloudera Manager and Cloudera Runtime. So as a first step, so I'm going to create a resource group. So I can hit here or from here to create a new resource group. So I just add here to create a new uh, resource group. So my name is CDP underscore demo. And uh, you can choose the location. So wherever uh, you feel nearby data center. So I'm just choosing uh, Australia Southeast. So you can choose any location, but better choose your nearest data center. So go ahead and create the resource group. So resource group is a logical uh, collection where we uh, we can just group all the resources together. Again, resource group itself doesn't cost anything. It's just kind of a wrapper or folder level concept where we are deploying our resources under that. And I'm just going to create a new resource add and uh, click here compute. Then I can just type a CentOS 7.5 or 7.6 or any any uh, operating system. Uh, let me just check CentOS 7.6. And uh, we have a uh, 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 this one. Okay, choose the one uh, whichever you feel comfortable. So CentOS uh, 7.6 is there. Okay, and go ahead and hit create. So you can choose either uh, Red Hat also, also Cloudera support Ubuntu. So this time I am choosing CentOS to reduce the cost. And the VM name, it's uh, master 01 okay and uh, where i am just choosing the location as australia southeast and uh, availability option i'm not much worried about the vm's availability at this time and operating system is this one Sport instance again you can reduce the cost by choosing the sport instance but i'm choosing no at this time and the size of the virtual machine i'm choosing as a two cpus and 16 gig ram and uh, we have two options so either password based or key based so pass in password based where you have to type the username and password but the password based authentication is not much secure so we can choose the SSH key based and uh, we can customize the username. I'm just using VM admin. So this is the username and uh, you have an option like uh, generate the key pair, use an existing key or use a public key. So I'm just using this generate new key pair option and key pair name. I'm just typing as CDP iPhone demo. And uh, you can choose whatever the ports you want to open. So this time I'm just choosing 22 alone and uh, review. Uh, so before that, just uh, go ahead and hit next to choose the disk. 
and again so you have a two option two three options so ssd and H hdd so ssd is a premium tier and again the price will be much higher so this uh, better choose standard hd hdd or standard hard disk which is magnetic in nature but if you are not concerned about the performance and all we can choose this standard hard disk and encryption i am leaving as it is so data disk you can create an additional disk because by default it will have uh, i think around 30 gig uh, size for slash but so we need additional storage capacity to store our data as well as the cloud installer and all so i'm just creating a new hard disk we have option to create a new hard disk so that is the master hard disk zero and uh, source type this is an empty uh, this one and uh, just change the size so the, the size i'm just choosing as 64 gig okay i think this is more than enough for me at this time just choose that and uh, do it and again the encryption and all we can choose the default one and click ok and uh, next is the networking so here you have to choose the vnet okay and this is the first time we are deploying and it is creating a new vnet okay that is fine and also the subnet and uh, public ip so i'm adding one public ip for master and the remaining thing as it is default and management so we have option to enable boot diagnostics so this is very important if you want to recover the vm and all so i'm just disabling by considering the cost at this time and advanced so we have option to choose some custom uh, extension or custom script to run i'm leaving as it is and tag option I'm not adding any tag at this time. So tag is to identify the resource and uh, maybe it's useful for billing and other purpose. So last step is the review. So it will do a validation. So how the resource or whatever the parameter we supplied is incorrect and also it shows the uh, price of this virtual machine. And uh, you have to fill your details and then go ahead and hit create. So this deployment uh, may take a couple of uh, minutes, but before that, you have to download the private key and uh, create the resource. So you have to click this option to download that. Then only your deployment will start because this is the option where we are downloading the private key. So this is downloaded okay now deployment is in go in progress you can go to the downloads and uh, just sort based on the time this is the uh, key that we have created i'm just copying that and uh, pasting it into uh, my directory keys and uh, this key is in pem format and the pem format is compatible for linux based environment but for our party to connect it won't work so i just need to convert this into another format where party can understand that is ppk or party private key so for that i'm using the tool called partygen so you can download this tool from the internet and i have already downloaded so just running this file load the private key browse to the folder where we have this file so maybe the this is default pointing to ppk file only just to remove that filter and to choose the option as all file so now you can see this pem file that's it then click this option to save new ppk file just to save yes then here you can see uh, the name like cdp iphone demo then save it that's it you can see one more file is created ppk that is putty private key and again so back to the console you can see the resource deployment is still in progress so maybe it takes some time to deploy so we'll have to wait okay that's it the resource has deployment has completed 
now go to the resource so you can see uh, it's having a public ip so we can co try connecting to this machine and see just copy this public ip address and open putty just uh, paste that here then go to the ssh go to uh, authentication auth then browse and uh, choose this key then ok and uh, here you have to type the name that we have given during the deployment that is vm admin give that name and uh, we should uh, log in without any password because we have already given the key okay so we, that's it we are able to connect again you can see some more if you go to the resource group along with the virtual machine few other resources like a disk okay then data disk additional disk we choose network security group public ip and vnet and ssh key so these tools are these components also deployed as part of vm deployment so now we will log into this virtual machine and do configure all the prerequisites repository configuration etc that we will discuss in the next video thank you for watching this video we will see in the next video